So what are the best settings for when exporting your video from After Effects to Instagram? Now over in After Effects, I've imported my video file here into a new project. Now the first thing we want to do in After Effects is actually properly set up a composition. Now what I've actually done here is I'm going to right click and create a new composition. Now you can call your composition whatever you like. Now most people will think that with Instagram, the higher the output, the better the quality. And that's not actually true. Instagram actually compresses your video more the higher the resolution of your video. So you're actually better to export at a lower resolution to actually reduce that compression that Instagram is going to apply to that video. So the idea here in After Effects is that we want to actually choose a frame size which is going to be less affected by this compression. Now the first decision you have to make here is whether you want to maintain the 16 by 9 aspect ratio shown on screen or you want to go with the more preferred square video. Now if you want to maintain the 16 by 9 I recommend using the 640 by 360 pixels. Now my preferred option is to actually use a square video and for this, I use 720 by 720. Now here, I've already laid out two options on the timeline, the square version of the video, where I've already scaled my video down to actually fit inside this composition. Otherwise, you can scale this up to fill that entire square. And the other one is this 16 by nine composition. So the next part is we actually want to render this out in the most optimal settings. Now with that composition selected, I'm going to come up to composition and I want to select add to media encoder queue. That's then going to open up media encoder and we'll see our video appear right here. Now it's just a matter of selecting the H.264 codec on the dropdown. And then we're going to click this button here to bring up the settings. So now it's just a matter of coming down here and adjusting a few of the settings. So the first thing I want to check under the video tab is to make sure the width and height matches that composition that we imported. I'm also going to select render at maximum depth and I want to select the variable bit rate to pass. Then I want to set my target bit rate to be four and I want to set the maximum bit rate to be six. The other thing I want to do is also use the maximum render quality, and that's pretty much it. Another little tip that you can actually do is actually save this as a preset so you don't have to keep going back through and changing all these settings. So I come up here to the preset option, and if I click this little button here, I can save this as a preset and actually just give it a name and then hit OK. Now once I've done that, I can just come down here and hit OK. I can then select this, I can just choose where I'd like to save the file and then just hit this little play button. So now it's just a matter of taking that file, sending it to your phone and then uploading it straight to Instagram. Now, if you're not working with video and you're working with photos, I recommend using a 1080 by 1080 pixel frame size. So there you go guys, that's the settings you use when sending your videos to Instagram. I hope you've learned something. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more videos just like this over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.